In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a look at how to show the grid here in Illustrator. So there is actually a grid that you can utilize in Illustrator, and if we click the View dropdown, we can go down and find Show Grid. It'll say Show Grid or Hide Grid if you already see the grid. So once we click Show Grid, we're going to see the grid lines out here in our document, and it just spans across our entire document. We can change the grid lines by going up to Illustrator and then down to Settings. On Windows, this might be an edit down to Preferences or Settings. Inside of Settings, we can scroll down here to Guides and Grid. If you just happen to be in the General Settings, check the tab on the left here. You'll see Guides and Grid. As the whole grid section here, you can adjust the color, adjust the style, whether it's lines or dots, and you can adjust how often there's a grid line. It'll go by the units you have your document set to, so I have pixels as my units for this document and I can set a grid line every 72 pixels or a custom amount in here. And then you can decide how many subdivisions are there in between those grid lines. So you'll see the grid lines a little bit stronger, like a little bit darker line, and then you'll see all the subdivisions in between. You can also uh, put the grids in the back so they're underneath all of the elements, or you can uncheck that and have it over the top of your elements so you can see the grid even if you have objects that are covering it up. One other thing that might be handy if we hit OK is when you have this grid out here you can actually snap to the grid. So if we go up to view down to we should find snap to yeah right here right below show grid actually will be snap to grid. So if we turn that on and make sure some of our other snapping options are turned off when you have it turned on it'll be check marked by the way. So we'll go back in there. You see it's check marked now so we clicked it it turned it on. Now when you create objects, it'll actually snap them to the grid lines. So if I were to create a rectangle, no matter where I click out here, it's going to kind of snap to the grid. And so that's how you could utilize the grid to actually snap your objects to it and move things around. Uh, so that might be something you're interested in. And then you can go up to View, down to Hide Grid to just turn that grid back off. And that's how you can show the grid here in Illustrator.